Could the Osmo Action 4 actually be DJI's best action camera yet? Let's find out. Okay, so the issues with the Action 3 were definitely on my mind and I was really anxious to see how the Osmo Action 4 was going to perform. But with its 1 over 1.3 inch sensor, 155 degree ultra wide angle field of view shooting up to 4K 120 in 10-bit colour and D-Log M, I was so impressed with the specs and was hoping to be equally impressed with the footage. And honestly, I was. The image quality didn't disappoint. As soon as I saw the footage and used the camera, there was no doubt that the Osmo Action 4 was going to become one of those top picks for a lot of people. The quality of the footage is really clean and clear, and DJI included such a welcomed setting, sharpness, finally. <laughs> now you can set the level of sharpness you want in the camera, and you can also set the desired level of noise reduction too. In my pre-release version, I just have three levels, which are high to low, but upon release, there'll be a firmware update, which will upgrade this to five levels of sharpness and four levels of noise reduction. Good afternoon, everyone. Shortly, we'll be arriving into London Paddington, where this train will terminate. So please make sure you have all your belongings with you before leaving the train. It really feels like DJI are going for a really pro experience with the Action 4, especially when you throw D-Log M into the mix, which just gives you so much more flexibility when it comes to colour correcting and colour grading, and then just getting the highest quality footage that you can from the camera. So yeah, it's awesome to see D-Log M in the Action 4. But even if you shoot in the normal colour profile, you're still going to get some awesome results. The colour reproduction in the Action 4 is so good, DJI really do colours nicely so it doesn't look like that typical action camera footage and you just get really nice looking skin tones and colours. But if you're looking for an HDR feature you're not going to find one because DJI have made sure that you get the best dynamic range from the Action 4 so there's actually no need for an, a specific HDR mode in the camera. So what did you think about that audio? Because that just came straight from the Action 4, no external microphone attached at all, just the inbuilt camera mics. I didn't think it sounded too bad at all. All right, how's my battery life looking? All right, got 29%, so it's actually doing all right. I've got a decent amount left. And whilst I'm on the subject of battery life, actually, you're gonna have more than enough for filming all day if you go with the adventure combo. I shoot exclusively in 4K and I found myself getting over an hour from just one battery, even with the occasional 120 FPS footage, which looks so good by the way. Slow motion footage definitely has its place, but if you use it with the Osmo Action 4, then you're gonna get such smooth footage, it looks so good. So imagine, if you shoot in 1080, which I guess a lot of people still do, so I've actually put together a few clips so that you can see what the footage looks like in 1080p, and I've put that in a separate video and there's a link in the description to that so you can actually check that out. But if you do shoot in 1080, then you're going to have loads of battery life for getting loads of different footage and shooting long time-lapse sequences as well, if that's the kind of thing you want to do. Speaking of which, time-lapses look pretty good as well. The Action 4 has a few preset options for time-lapses, but you can also customise it yourself as well, and I'd highly recommend using some ND filters. DJI has some, and they basically just allow you to have a slower shutter speed so that you can get more cinematic motion blur, and it just creates a really cool effect. So here's something new, when it comes to low light filming, DJI's added a new setting, low light image enhancement. I've just run so fast to catch my train. So it tries to just give you the best quality footage in low light when shooting in the normal colour profile, so not D-Log. It's a good job I've got an action camera because it's raining. I knew I should have brought my coat. I knew it. Even for this little short walk to the car. Just seeing how the image stabilisation holds up, but also just seeing what the image quality looks like in low light with this enhanced low light setting. I feel like I'm shouting, I've got my earbuds in. Yeah, I was definitely shouting. <laughs> I'm really annoyed at myself as well because I was so caught up in filming the first bit of this video that I completely forgot to buy a train, not a train ticket, a car parking ticket 
and I realised at like five o'clock this evening, I got to the car park at two o'clock I think, and it was like half five, and so I bought a ticket anyway at the time that I remembered in hopes that a traffic warden or a ticket warden hadn't been round yet, but I'm really, really hoping that I do not have a ticket because ugh, not be ideal. All right, that's enough of that. Let's see how the stabilization looks in normal filming conditions. So normal lighting with a bit of speed. <laughs> Just had a look back at the footage just the little bit that i did there and it looks really good i've got the stabilization set to rock steady plus so that's the highest level of stabilization that you're going to get with the action 4 and i think it did a really good job the footage looks really smooth so i'm going to put it into rock steady and see what that looks like because that's just one level below rock steady plus and just see how smooth that is as well because that also gives you a slightly wider field of view because rock steady plus crops in quite a lot So one of the other features that I really love is the quick switch button because it allows you to quickly switch between photo, video, time lapse mode, but you can also customise it so you can put whatever you want in that menu as well. And the other thing is, so when I was out on my bike and I had the Action 4 on my helmet, I wanted to make sure that I was definitely in video mode. And so the quick switch button actually allows you to have a voice prompt so you can actually hear what mode you're switching to or what you're switching to in that menu. Photo, video, slow motion. So if you accidentally hit photo or time lapse or something else and you want video, then you're gonna get that audible feedback. So I just found that to be really, really handy. Also, all the clips that I did before where I was talking into the Action 4, I was using the microphones that came from the camera, but this time I've actually got the DJI wireless mic attached. And this is the audio that you're hearing and that's the audio that you just heard as well. And yeah, this is what it sounds like because you can attach an external microphone via USB-C and the DJ mics work really well and the audio sounds really good as well. So yeah, this is what the audio sounds like with an external mic attached. So just like the Osmo Action 3 wasn't really meant to replace the Action 2, the Osmo Action 4 is also not a replacement for the Action 3. DJI intends for the Action 4 to be a camera for those who are really active outdoors and want high image quality footage and advanced features. So it's here to sit alongside the Action 3, which is intended more so for people who want a really easy setup and something that's just gonna give them great footage without having to fiddle around with too many settings. So if you're looking for a pro level action camera, then the Action 4 is definitely one to consider. And I'll show you how it holds up against the Hero 11 in my next video because I know that's going to be a burning question that a lot of you have. Oh, I think, I think I'm alright, I think I'm alright. I do not have, I don't have a ticket! I don't have a ticket! That's so good! This is probably not the best test of the audio because I'm losing my voice. Not feeling great today but I thought I'd come and paddleboard because the rest of the week is looking pretty sh** for weather. So, um, yeah, this is what the audio sounds like. <laughs> I'll probably do a better test when I've got my voice back properly, but yeah, just so I come out and uh, just come on the water today, bring the action forward with me. <laughs> 